Hey Greg, Laura, this is John, Marine Max, of course. I thought I would take a minute and walk y'all uh, on a personalized tour through the Sea Ray 370. I know you're up on a, doing a wedding right now, and that's great. I hope you're having a good time. But uh, let's have a look, and this will give you something to do when you're uh, when you're tired or you're you know just relaxing this evening. So let's have a look. So you notice I got the lights going. Now that's on the color fade system. You can make those any color in the rainbow, similar to what you have now. This boat is the black hull with the white boot stripe and the black painted hardtop. Absolutely stunning looking boat. The gray interior. So we walk up around the bow. Of course, windlass and spotlight. Unlike your 320, it has the full glass front windshield. Big side glass, but there's still a little bit of Isen glass at the top. Notice she has the exterior lights as well. So as you hang out in the cove at night or something, um, it looks absolutely stunning. Take note of this little diamond pattern in the in the a sea deck. You're going to see it all throughout the boat. This is a double step uh, swim platform so it goes down a level and then out another level uh, to again help you get in and out or just hang out. Uh, a little differently done than what's on your 320 whereas you know yours just goes down and back up again. This one you don't lose any deck space and it just tucks up underneath when you're not using it or comes out when you're ready to go. This rear seat is a three position seat. You can see it's got two handles down here. Now, uh, at the moment I've got it laid down flat like a pad, but if you pull this handle, that uh, backrest comes up so you can sit lounge facing backwards. Or if you pull this handle, this seat comes up and completes the couch for inside. It's very versatile, everybody loves it. This is access down to the engine room without raising the hatch. So you got the lights under everything. There is eyes and glass for the back to come out and close this. And of course you can see it's a huge sunshade. And Greg, I know you're tall like me, so I'm gonna flip this around. Me. Look how high above my head it is. Now I'm six foot one. I think you're actually an inch or so taller than I am, but you can walk in and out from under this thing without, uh, uh, without hitting or having, even having a duck. Flip them back around. The lights in the overhead do the color color changing thing too. You got speakers up here. Loads of space. Got this whole little outdoor kitchenette kind of thing going on. A little differently configured, but you know, the same kind of grill that you've got now. Storage down there. Sink in here. All this is Corian storage. Lots of trash cans. <laughs> uh, plus, you got some drawer storage. This one's actually lockable. Really nicely done. You do have cockpit AC up here, so if you close it all in, there's vents over there by the dash. There's vents down here. That's the return, I think. Um, there's vents all around, so you can actually air condition this whole space if you want to. This mount is for the cockpit television. So, you guys were talking about having a TV out there. Uh, this one's already got one. Uh, there's some power over there as well. So you, everything you need. The helm is going to be somewhat familiar to you because you have these systems as well. It's just in different places. Same throttle you have, same joystick you have, uh, same uh, a dynamic running surface that we were just playing with. Big dual screens. Now you've got a lot of electronic switching that's in this uh, this screen. Of course, you can get to all the instruments and all the charting, everything that you might need um, is all in there. Uh, you'll be familiar with most of that. Push button switches for all the various uh, lights and stuff. And of course, the fusion stereo. What I like is that uh, the passenger seat not only has a flip up bolster, but you've got this nice kick up wooden uh, foot platform. And you have the same thing over here for the drivers, two different levels. So you can sit and be comfortable um, no matter uh, how tall or short you might be. Then view out the big windshield. Looking up, you can actually open this part of the sunroof 
and I've got this part open too so I've got it partially open you can raise it all the way back um, or have it closed and again I wanted to show you look here's these diamonds in here again if you see them in the skylight looks absolutely cool at night or uh, I mean when the sun's behind it big wide walkway this door is actually hydraulically lifted um, which I gotta undo it I can't do it with one hand I gotta do both but uh, it's actually really easy to raise up and down you got some storage here and this is sloped so you're not having to step up at all and you shouldn't be you know, catching your arm on anything either humongous bow and this one does have the bow sunshade system uh, which is a manual system but that's what these little fittings are for there's four of them so four poles go in there and a canvas strips uh, um, stretches across you got a teak table up here, which this is multi-position. This is the filler cushion that's on top of it. So you can either have this all open, you know, a C-shaped seating, lounging, and of course there's stereo controls and all that up here. Um, just an absolutely amazing place to be, especially with that shade over it. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. I'm gonna pause for a second so we can go downstairs. Okay, so now we're going to go downstairs. This is where it's really different from your 320 because there is so much room down here. So this electrically configures into the bed, and I'm going to hit the button for you here in a minute, and you'll see how it does that. Of course, all this gorgeous lighting that's around. I'm going to shut the cabin door up there so you can see how quiet it gets in here. Unfortunately, you get to see me too. The Isinglass is laid out down here, but you can see that you've got a big full couch down here, and it does convert into a bed. There's a TV there in the pop-up cabinet. This closes back down, so you have the cabinet. There's a window behind it. There's a window over on the other side, too. Definitely not a cave. Beautiful steps. Big counter, microwave. Another sink down here. Fridge, of course. Now watch this. I'm going to hit the button. How cool is that? No having to reconfigure, take, you know, different pole, uh, seat poles, change the table or anything. The whole thing just flips over. And uh, so it's big enough for somebody our size referring to uh, uh, me and... And Greg, not uh, you. You got a real nice closet in here. Looks like somebody's put some of the canvas in there, but you can hang up some items in there. You almost can't tell it's here either. It blends in so nicely with the wall. And of course, what's really nice about the bathroom, you know, this part's kind of normal, standard, but look at this separate shower. Lots of space in there. You got a nice little seat so you can hang out. Lots of windows and light. You can open it up. There's even a skylight overhead. A lot of storage. Big mirror so you can get ready. Or just look at me. Absolutely amazing boat. Of course, there's speakers overhead. And you can do all the sounds zonal. So you can have all that good stuff. You know, have, well, only wherever you want it. And of course, there's a TV down here too. Windows. Just an amazing space to be in. So. So I know that was kind of long, but I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'm looking forward to when you guys get back, taking you out on this uh, beautiful boat and uh, seeing how well you like it in person. Uh, I think you're gonna really appreciate it. And you know, uh, who knows, maybe it'll be your next one. But in any case, uh, looking forward to it. And I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon, bye.